What's going on everyone? Thank you guys for tuning into my channel once again and uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing a Q&A today. I know that I said I was going to upload this video on my birthday, but I spent my birthday doing things for myself. In other words, I didn't do anything. I didn't film, I didn't edit, I just did what I wanted to do all day and that was sit down and play the PlayStation 4 for like two hours. I know, two hours out of 24 doesn't really seem like that much. But anyways, I've got a phone full of questions here. You guys went hard on Instagram, not really so much here on YouTube, but it's always a very good reception on Instagram. So make sure that you are following me on Instagram if you wanna partake in the next Q&A because I don't think that I'm going to do the Q&A questions in the actual comment section of these videos anymore. I think it's all gonna be strictly on Instagram and then I'll just make a video posted here on YouTube and I am talking too much, so let's get into these questions. Let's Let's go. Are you my real dad? Yep. What's your status in life right now? How's the kid? How's the job? What do you want to do in the future? Yo, my life is pretty good right now. Um, you know, we just moved to Melbourne. It was a bit of a hard move to be totally honest with you guys. I got really used to Sydney and I like, when I go to Sydney, I know where everything is. I know if I need to go get something in particular, I know exactly where I can go to get it. Don't really have that in Melbourne. We're still trying to settle in. We're still trying to get used to the entire scene. And what I mean by when I say scene, I just mean the city in general. I don't live in the actual CBD, I live out west, so yeah, just trying to get used to the city that is Melbourne. I still love the city, it's it's pretty good. And yeah, Atlas, Atlas is my son, for anyone who's tuning into my channel for the first time right now for whatever reason, but yeah, he's doing all right right now. He's a little bit under the weather. I wouldn't actually really say he's under the weather, he's teething, so like he just gets really irritable really quick because his gums are just constantly in pain. I feel terrible because tooth pain, I don't wish it upon anyone. I hate tooth pain myself. I have to say that tooth pain is like the only pain that I can't handle. I can handle pretty much anything that happens to me other than a toothache. And what do I want to do in the future? Uh, this is what I want to do. I want to do YouTube, I want to clean shoes and restore shoes for a living, so what I want to do for the future is what I'm doing right now. How many pair of Air Maxes have you ever owned, and what's your favorite Nike shoe other than the Air Max 90 Infrared? Come to think of it, I have not owned that many pairs of Air Max all at once. I think I own like, what, like five pairs of Infrareds, two pairs of Air Max 1s, some Tavis. I'd say right now, I own about 11 to 12 pairs of Air Max. And my favorite Nike shoe, that's not the Air Max 90 Infrared, that's a really good question. Let me have a little bit of a think on that. Um, you know what? I've thought about it, and my favorite Nike shoe that's not the Air Max 90 Infrared is the Hot Lava Air Tech Challenge 2. What's your top 10 sneakers of 2017? That is a very good question, and I'm not going to answer it in this video, because it is going to take way too long to count down from 10. So let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to do a top 10 sneakers of 2017. I personally have not picked up 10 shoes in the year 2017, so it would probably just be 10 shoes that I like personally, and not that I own because I'm broke. So Hal just showed up at the shop and uh, we're teaming up with the homie Chase Shield. You remember the guy from like, I don't know, a year ago or something like that? Well, bang. Custom Air Force Ones with the bandana print, the red bandana print. How dope are these? These are going to be going to Kid Ink's bodyguard. And uh, yeah, how dope are these? Let's, like, let's get in better lighting here. Which way is it? Which way is it? There it is. That's really, really sick. The actual craftsmanship on this is incredible, huh? Insane. Like, it's absolutely insane. Look at the stitching on it. So one thing I haven't even told you guys is that we're actually gonna be offering our own line of customs here at the Sneaker Laundry. Little things like this, like little edits. Another thing that we actually did was a Louis Vuitton Air Max 1. This was all done by Chase Shield. Like, how dope is this? Eugene had got this done from Nike ID. It was obviously customized in the back here. It says Mona on one and Gene on the other. That's his DJ name. And apparently he was not happy enough with just Nike ID, so he took a Louis Vuitton leather bag, a real one, cut it up, and did this. So that's the actual Louis Vuitton logo there on the tongue. Super dope, super dope. So stay tuned in 2018 because we are going to be opening and launching our own line of customs. And yeah, let's get back to this Q&A. How's the transition into fatherhood going? It's going good now. In the very beginning, I will not lie to anyone that is expecting a child or wants to have a child. It's tough in the beginning. Like, your routine changes literally overnight. Like, anything that you're used to doing, kiss it goodbye. Anything that you enjoy doing, 
kiss it goodbye because the only thing that you're going to enjoy doing from that moment on is taking care of your child and I'm happy with it I'm cool with it to be totally honest with you it's it's not that it's easy now I think that I've just gotten used to it does being a big dude affect the stability of a repainted shoe I did all the necessary steps like you and my shoes still cracked okay um I don't want to say that that's what it is for sure because I used to be pretty big as well But a lot of it has to do with the age of the shoe for example the 2006 or is it 2007 either way the cool gray 3 that midsole doesn't matter I can repaint that a hundred times over and it is always going to crack again Just because the actual material of the midsole is just becoming extremely brittle The older the shoe is the more likely it is to crack just from my personal experiences I don't think that it really has anything to do with how much you way or your stature or anything like that I actually just think that it has everything to do with just the age of the shoe also try to avoid flat paints when you're painting the midsole try to use regular white regular blacks all your stuff like that because those are way more flexible than flat white because there's duller in flat white and in flat black and duller makes the paint brittle I know I know it looks so much better there's no brush strokes when you use flat white or flat black and it just looks so much better, but you can't use it. Stop using it. How's the fam? Pretty good, Robbie. Uh, this is a friend from high school, like someone that I've known like quite literally almost my entire life and I appreciate the question bro the family is doing really well right now like I said we're actually having a little bit of a hard time adjusting and settling into Melbourne but that's anything like when I first moved to Australia you know I, I definitely was not enjoying myself for the first couple of months and once I got used to it I could not picture myself living anywhere else so hopefully Melbourne feels that way very soon if I send you my music would you listen I'm a big fan and subscriber of yours and I would love to work with you bro hit me up right now if you're watching this video and you just asked this question, message me on Instagram right now. Leave a comment on this video letting me know that you messaged me so I can actually go in there and message you back. And the short answer is yeah. If the music is dope and it suits my style of video, I will 100% use it. So hit me up. There's only one way to get your music into my videos and that's by actually reaching out. What's the longest time you've gone without sleep because of your bub? Ah, oh, the homie Josiah, OB Sneakers. Make sure you subscribe to him. He's a very good dude. He just had a child as well. The longest time that I've gone without sleep days like you kind of learn how to micro sleep if that makes sense there was a point in time after having atlas where i would literally like just close my eyes for 30 seconds at a time and believe it or not it would actually like revitalize me is that a word revitalize recharge re-energize that's the word i'm looking for re-energize it would re-energize me but no joke i literally did not sleep for like three or four days straight and it's not even because he's crying or anything like that you just you want to constantly look at them. It's, it's, it's a weird feeling. It's a really weird feeling, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. What is your most expensive sneaker you own? Um, well, that's tough, because I sold a lot of my shoes to move to Melbourne, and I don't tend to pay resale on any of my shoes. If I can't get it for retail, I'm not interested. So the most expensive shoe that I could probably get money for right now would probably be those nude human race NMDs from the trail pack. They're not even my size, not even my size. Other than that, probably be the bread ones from 2016. You know, the ones that everyone was calling bands, but they weren't bands. They were just bread ones. The quality was good. What's your take on the sneaker game and sneakerheads right now and the dance between brands and influencers? That is another really good question and that is another question that I feel I should make a separate video on. So once again, leave it in the comment section down below if you want me to make a video on what my take is on the sneaker game and sneakerheads right now and the dance between brands and influencers. But seriously, that's a very interesting topic. If you want me to make a video on it, I will make a video on it. And that actually, like, do you guys care about my opinion? I really enjoy doing discussion videos and it creates much more content for my channel and I've got an opinion on like everything so if you guys want to hear my opinion on like anything let me know because I will absolutely make a video on whatever it is you want my opinion on unless it's stupid because if it's dumb I'm not doing it are you a fan of the UFC if so who are some of your favorite fighters I am a fan of the UFC some of my favorite fighters are Joe Lazon Mike Rodriguez and not because I know those guys and then other like more well-known names, uh, not that Joe Lozano and Mike aren't well-known, but like like the real big high up names, like in the high top 10 rankings of UFC. Um, past or present, you got Mirko Krokop, Fedor Emelianenko, um, I'm not gonna say Conor McGregor, like he really won my respect for that Floyd Mayweather fight, but 
Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna say him. That's just like an obvious answer. Who else, man? Who else is really good? The Diaz brothers are really good. GSP. Yeah, that's really all I can think of right now. I'm more old school when it comes to the UFC. I'm, I'm one of those old people that like Chuck Liddell and Tito Ortiz and Rampage Jackson. You know all the guys that would get knocked out in today's UFC? Those are the guys that I like. I'll knock them all out myself. Do you have any advice for someone who wants to try and eventually make sneaker customization, restoration, and sneaker art in general their full-time thing? Uh, yeah. Right now, it's really, really hard because everyone's a sneaker customizer. Everyone can restore sneakers. Everyone can customize them. It's gonna be what you do that makes you stand out from the others. Like, take me for example. I restore shoes. I'm not really big on the whole customization thing. And like anyone can pick up a brush and restore shoes. That's how I got started. I just started watching videos on YouTube and before I knew it, I am a professional at what I do. I've got a full-time job actually doing it. So I guess the best advice that I could give you is to keep at it and don't get discouraged when things aren't going your way. Because I promise you, things will not go your way almost 100% of the time. It's an uphill battle, momentum is everything, and you just really, really need to stay on your grind. When are you coming to Brisbane tonight? I'll be there tonight. How hard was it for you to move to Australia from the States? Well, that question can be taken one of two ways. It could be taken like, was it emotionally hard? No, it was very easy for me to get on a plane and go to Australia, but as far as like the paperwork goes, headache, bro. What a headache it was. So much paperwork. The paperwork was probably this thick, like no joke, like this thick worth of documents, just everything about my life and my wife's life and just, like, like I'm not gonna do anything stupid, guys. I, I'm, I, I live here now. I'm a permanent resident, and as far as the paperwork goes, definitely not easy. It's expensive, too. It's pretty expensive, and it only goes up every single year. It goes up by like 10%. I paid five Gs when I got my visa, and right now, I think it's bordering at 10K. And yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this q and I really enjoy doing those. It's been a long time since I've done a QA. and a and uh, I need to get some different environments to do my Q&A and I don't want to do it here every single time. I want to do it at home, I want to do it outside. Maybe even like, I don't know, go to the subway and just film it in front of everyone. But yeah, um, that's really all that there is for this video. Still haven't started on these restorations because I'm just the worst person on earth. Uh, I'm looking forward to restoring these actually. It's going to be interesting. I've never seen anyone do this on YouTube. And yeah, I've already got a paint match down for it, so I think that it's going to be pretty cool to restore these. Thank you guys so much once again for tuning into my channel. Thank you guys so much once again for asking questions on my Instagram. Like I said before, be sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to partake in the next Q&A. That is where I make my post accepting Q&A questions, so if you have any questions that you want to ask me, follow me on Instagram and wait for the next Q&A photo. Thank you guys once again for tuning into my channel. Catch you next time. Peace. I you make it always try to give don't ever take